Hey guys, I'm glad you're stopping by because I just want to give you guys a huge thanks. Uh, yeah, this is going to be sappy probably, so hang in there. I'm, I'm not going to get too sappy because I know this coming onto YouTube and watching videos is a form of escape. I like to escape. My big thing used to be video games, um, and I still love video games. I just haven't played it as much as I used to, um, mainly because I've lost a lot of interest in things that I love. I'm trying to get back into, um, you know, mainly due to the depression stuff, which you guys know this, and we're not here to really mainly talk about depression. We're kind of here to talk about how thankful I am for you guys for sticking with me. Um, like I said, you guys may have noticed the last few weeks that I've been kind of down, kind of down in the dumps. Um, the content that I made um, is probably not up to snuff, which I'm not saying I'm Scorsese or anything. My videos aren't that great. But you guys come and watch them. And I know some videos get more views than others, and I understand that. Not everything I make is not going to be everybody's thing. Um, and, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody, but just stops and clicks on my ugly face uh but but i have been under a lot of stress lately a lot of stress um we got a wedding coming up in october you know we're trying to save money for a place um which you know every time we get caught up something happens we have to spend our money so we lose out on place uh you know my job uh which today was probably one of the best days of my job that i've had for the last three weeks, because the last three weeks, I have been so stressed out of work because of a certain issue that happens. When you're in IT, you expect things to break, but you don't expect things to be broken for three weeks. But today, finally, finally, after all the hard work we did, after all the long hours, we finally fixed the problem. Uh, we got a network backup that's been down for three weeks uh, due to a bad fiber connection which that sucks it really does because you know where i work the play the site that this was on is very important and crucial to that specific industry it has to be working at all times but for three weeks it wasn't and this was forcing them to go into other sites to basically use their network in order to get their job done but now it's done it's done, it's finished, and it's great, and I'm super happy, super excited. Um, yeah, I just can't I just can't tell you how how much better I feel. It feels like the weight of the world is off my shoulders. I've been training a lot. Um, I've been going to the gym off and on. Well, between the YMCA and Planet Fitness, or I went to, you know, me and Chad's got to train with each other maybe three or four times. Uh, most of it's been either shadow boxing. Uh, Monty is or Miss Bits. She's holding the uh, mitts, and I'm trying to take it easy. I, you know, I don't want to punch my girlfriend, and but she holds the mitts, and uh, it's weird. It's weird to me, and, and it throws me off because I'm like, man, I don't want to accidentally hit her in the face. And you know, I don't go all out because that's just not no way, not not happening. I'm not going to be punching my girlfriend. Um, but she, she uses those mitts and we practice and I've let her practice on me too. And I'm going to tell you, she, she can more than take care of herself in a fight. She, she hits hard, like really hard. And, you know, she's noticing some of the things I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of gun shy. Um, you know, I've never been punched in the face. I've never been in a fight before, which, uh, this is one thing that Josh Abrams is going to have on me. I've never been on a fight, not in a fight, I mean, but he has, he knows what it's like, uh, Chad, he's been in fights and you know, he, they're trying to teach me the psychology that goes around that because, you know, it, I guess they say everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face and I'm trying to get past that. Cause you know, whenever I, I, I don't like to hurt people. I don't. It's one of those things I don't, and you know, it's crazy for me to step out of this uh, little thing, <laughs> this little, little match that I decided to wholeheartedly go into without, you know, I didn't think it was going to be serious, uh, and it is. I think it is, um, you know, but I'm, I'm training every day, every day. Um, today, I'm not. I took a day off. 
you know, I, I had a great day today and I wanted to rest. I didn't really rest. I'm catching up on laundry and all this other stuff. Um, and I wanted to make this video for you because there hasn't been any content this week. Um, I've noticed too, and you know, I've said this in the community tab, uh, the channel's not really growing anymore. Not, not like it used to. Um, and that's come to be expected. Um, but with every single subscriber that we get, it's just another one we can add to this community. And it's great. I, and I, you know, I look at it, I look at it, you know, with my depression, I'm just like, it's, it sucks. Everybody hates me. But that's just my depression telling me that, right? Well, in fact, you know, I have a great community of people that tell me awesome things. And, you know, I've been really down. Like, Monty's seen me down really hard. You know, when the other day on the last weekend, when I decided to drink alcohol with my uh, sleep meds and behavioral medicine, you know, Ambien. Yeah, I, I drank Absinthe and Jaeger. Yeah, that was bad. I could have died probably. I I didn't, but lesson learned, not doing that again. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm training. I'm training hard, uh, hard as I can. Um, it's, it's things are I you know you know, I get in the pool all the time. I, I've been getting in the pool practicing like footing. Um, I know it's a little bit different. Like in the pool, you kind of float there. Especially me, I'm a big guy. I'm gonna float. But I'll get on like the shallow end and I'll practice shadow boxing. You know, a lot of people probably think I'm a big weirdo. Here, here's that guy punching the pool again. Here he comes, just punching that water. Uh, Monty got me these weights, these resistance weights I can actually use in the pool for practice. And, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to be perfect. And um, we don't know when this match is going to be. We don't know when it's going to happen. We don't have a promoter. Um, and we don't have anything ironed out. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe we can find a promoter. Maybe uh, we can do our training. Maybe we can do it this spring if, we can, if we're lucky. I don't know how long this is going to take. And, you know, at first I was like, man, it's going to be in September. I was thinking, well, I guess maybe we'll be fighting in September with Chad and Sweetie. And, you know, it didn't work out. Uh, but... Yeah, you know, I have been in talks with some promoters uh, trying to find somebody in the area that would host that. Um, one of the things I would like to do is host some type of uh, content creator clash. It's There's something on YouTube, uh, these bigger channels that had a boxing match, right? And these people never fought before, or some of them have. And, you know, they're just getting together. They're content creators. They're fighting for charity. And that's something I'd love to do. I'd love to put something together like that, like have local people in the area in the tri-state area or more that's wanting to come and do this fight. Or if we want, do some kind of wrestling thing. I, I don't know. I just, I just think it would be fun. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm excited by it. I'm excited by it. I, you know, I'm nervous. I don't know if I want to win. I, I can tell you that. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if Josh is going to win. Who knows? He probably beat my ass. That's a possibility. I've never fought before. Uh, and I'm going in at this all wrong. I should be the one to say, yeah, Josh Abrams, I'm going to kick your fucking teeth in because, you know, I'm the man. You, you bastard, I'm going to knock your teeth in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at trash talk. Um, and, you know, I, I've had some people be like, why, why, why do you want to fight Josh? Do you dislike Josh? No. I don't dislike Josh. I think Josh is cool as hell. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know much about Josh. Uh, I haven't got to really talk to Josh. Uh, I'd like to. Um, I'd like to get to know Josh. Uh, I know, you know, some people are saying some things that, you know, I don't know. I can't say they're true or not. And I'm not, it's not my place to say that. Um, you know, I, I've heard things and, you know, Sweetie said things about him and we don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I, you know, I, I don't want to think about it, but you know, if it is, you know, I don't really go for that, but I don't think that's really the case. And, you know, I might lose some followers because of that, but he hasn't given me a reason to dislike him. Uh, yeah, he's an auditor. Uh, he doesn't like cops, but he said it himself. 
He doesn't like bad cops. He likes good cops, but he doesn't like bad cops. And he doesn't go back and forth from what I can tell. Unlike Sweetie, he's on this big thing right now where he loves the cops now, but he hates the cops. It's weird. It's weird, right? He has to insert himself in everything and get people arrested and get that money, you know, you know, in my opinion, get that money. He's got to get that money. And uh, poor Charlie Bear. That poor little dog needs a new home. S needs a new home. Sick. Putting that dog in a car, a hot car, uh, while, you know, Dick Face is out there protecting our freedoms, you know. Uh, yeah, Charlie Bear needs a home. S Sweetie, if you're watching this, give, give Charlie Bear up, dude. Give him a home. Just do it. Charlie Bear needs something better than that. Uh, I'm not saying that you're torturing the dog, but that's not good for it. I mean, it's not good. You need to give it to somebody who will take care of Charlie Bear. That's me. That's my opinion on that. You know, but anyways, I, guys, thank you so much for sticking in with me, okay? Um, I know I can be hit or miss. I can be hit or miss. miss on some things. Uh you know, I I I I I love doing what I do. I I felt so bad earlier before everything started working, but I was gonna quit. I was gonna give up. I, I wrote everything down and I was gonna make this my last video. And but it would it would have went a whole lot different if things that worked finally paid off and it did it worked and you know i don't want to be super religious but god helped me out on this uh this has been on my shoulders for a while uh, a lot of things and one of the big things is felt good you know you know i'm trying to i'm trying to strengthen my relationship with you know my friends and family uh my fiance uh you guys I want to do more. I want to do more content. I want to stream more. I actually want to get back into gaming again. I miss it. But I also want to keep training. I want to keep pushing. And people will ask me, why do you want to fight? Monty, you know, I told her, there's a reason why I want to fight. I've lost everything. I, I've lost so much for the last few years. Lost tons of things. I lost friends, family. You know, I... Financially, I lost a lot of things. You know, I lost a relationship uh, of seven years. Uh, I almost lost my life a few times. You know, I've lost jobs. I've lost a lot of stuff, but things are starting to look up for me. You know, the channel started taking off. I got a really good job. I actually got offered a promotion. And I, I don't know if I mentioned that before. I got offered a promotion within the next couple of weeks. I'll be a part of something permanent a better paying i mean i get paid good now but i'll be getting paid way better and i have benefits you know i got this wedding coming up i i really i'm really excited about it um yeah i really want to find us a place so i'm hoping we can get the funds to do that soon it's just really hard right now uh you guys know how the economy is you know you can make i you know i make pretty good money uh i'm not very good with my money for the most part uh i'm trying to get better at it i'm trying to save she's trying to save and it's just really hard it's just really hard and you know i've been taking feedback from you guys uh the best i can you know I, I i'd like to get down to where i'm making at least three videos a week maybe two live streams a week i think that's fair maybe one on a wednesday one on a saturday uh just just to hang out that's what I want to do with you guys. Uh, but hopefully we can get into this soon. I'm glad you stopped by this video. And I hope you don't, guys don't think I'm a fucking crybaby. I, I try not to be. But every time I see something says, hey, you're great. Thank you for being inspiring. Pushing me and my training. Um, having channels give me shout outs. You just don't understand what it does for me. You know, even when I'm down, though, sometimes those things don't help. But I think I'm coming to the point where things are getting better. Um, and it just took, you know, one thing to happen today that made me do a complete turnaround. Um, 
But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I love you very much. Feel free, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try not to look at numbers anymore. So I shouldn't do that. I should never have done that. You know, I, you know, I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's happening, but I shouldn't look at the numbers. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.